I'm James Hughes. I'm the executive director of the Institute for Ethics and Emerging Technologies, and I've been interested in theories of complexity since I was a teenager, including cybernetics. And uh, so I'm delighted to be able to share some thoughts about that today. Hi, my name is Kim Trinacity. I'm from Royal Rose University in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, but I actually live in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, my connection to Norbert Wiener, uh, well, it was actually accidental. I was doing research for my thesis, my MA thesis, on replacing human caregivers with robots, and I was uh, looking for an idea, looking for someone to grab my imagination. So I used two theorists. I used Marshall McLuhan, uh, using the robot as a communication device, thinking of it in those terms. And then Norbert Wiener, when I started to question the impact of technology and how people react to it. So that's how I came across Norbert Wiener, and um, I'm looking forward to expanding on his on some of his insights in the future. My name is Kevin Desenayuratna, and I study at RMIT, and I'm interested in Norbert Wiener. Hi. I'm Ari Burnett from the National Defense University in the United States. My connection to Norman Wiener is, uh, this is the second conference I've attended uh, with regard to some of his ideas on machines and human symbiosis. Uh, I'm interested primarily in autonomy and where this goes in the future, apropos of my talk yesterday. My name is Kishore Dapke from Monash University and my connection to Wiener is like everyone else who has indulged in some optimization which was the topic of my thesis. My name is Greg Adamson, I'm the President of the Social Implications of Technology Society and my connection is he predicted my job was going to disappear in 1984 and I admire him for that and I want other people to find out how predictive he was. Thanks. Hi, uh, my name is Abu Bakr Mohammed. I am a professor in Pakistan working on various problems of water and agriculture, but related to cybernetics and robotics. And a lot of my work has been inspired by Wiener's uh, uh, legacy uh, of cybernetics, of course. And uh, much of it came from my reading of Wiener uh, a few years back, his great book on cybernetics and the human use of human beings. Hi, my name is Simone Elson. Uh, I've discovered Wiener quite recently, uh, looking at the impact of robots on society and learning about his work uh, with God and Golems. So I'm Ivan Marils, I'm the Dean of Engineering at the University of Melbourne. And we are hosting this conference in honor of Wiener because Wiener's dream was to have convergence of science and engineering, and medicine, and so on. And in fact, that's what we believe in as well. That it's going to happen more, and we have technology that we not only could dream of. So, in fact, somehow I believe we can have dream, Wiener's dream come true today. And that's why we have the conference. Hi, I'm Marco Ruby. My connection to Novel Wiener is. He taught me about having choice with autonomous systems and how we can give people some sort of control over a service which we may need. My name is uh, Marimut Palani Swami. I'm from the University of Melbourne. I'm a professor of electrical engineering and director of a centre, uh, ARC centre on research networks, uh, intelligent sensors, yes, and uh, information processing. My connection with the uh, winner is that I used to work for my PhD and adaptive filtering and Wiener's in this next dimension to Wiener's work. I was fascinated with the concept of uh, you know drifting initial conditions, changing initial conditions, parameters of the system, etc. Then I moved on to artificial intelligence systems that you can apply to many of the practical problems uh, of current society. I'm Mori Lockie from Japan. I mentioned some of the control engineering using the cybernetics originated by Norbert Wiener. Hi, my name is Valero Brunowski. My connection with Norbert Wiener is actually quite complex. Uh, I started with uh, learning Norbert Wiener's contribution to stochastic processes and then to filtering and eventually into system theory. And I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Melbourne and my connection to Wiener is through feminist techno science. 
My name is Harish. Uh, I'm a volunteer at uh, Nobel Wiener Conference and I'm a student here. And my connection with Wiener is that uh, the fundamental contribution that he has made is incredible and I, I work on the, those problems which are inherited from those hundreds of problems and I'm very happy to be at this conference. I am Alexander Fratko and uh, uh, my relation to Norbert Wiener is uh, just uh, very important for me because uh, Norbert Wiener is inventor of the cybernetics and I am working in the area of cybernetics the whole my life and my most uh, important for me uh, uh, achievements are related to cybernetics and physics. I call this area cybernetical physics. My name is Judy Wiseman and I've spent my life thinking about the social implications of technology, so who couldn't be interested in your Vina? I'm Kiyoshi Murata from Meiji University, so the, I'm a computer ethicist. So the, the Robert Wiener is considered the, as the founder of the computer ethics. So the, our research is very, very related to with his research. My name was Marcus Wigan, I can't remember what it is currently. Uh, my connection with the Northern Wiener Conference is a long interest in cybernetics and a request to speak on the ethics interactions with these areas. Linux and I'm working on the control of synchronization and complex network and the interplay of dynamics and networks. I'm Lachlan Gunn. I'm from the University of Adelaide and I'm from the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. I do research to, among other things, signal processing and security. And one of my areas of focus is how to apply the way that humans behave and try to apply those into computational systems, into security systems, into signal processing systems, and to try to apply some of these heuristics that we use that piggyback on our own brains and try to apply those into real practical systems. My name is Heather Love and I work at the English department at the University of South Dakota. And I study early 20th century literature, which might seem a bit of a far cry from Norbert Wiener. But in fact, Norbert Wiener spent Christmas dinner in, I think, 1915 with T.S. Eliot. So they have a little bit of a biographical connection. Uh, but my research looks at the ways that those early 20th century experimental writers were already working through some of the same ideas and questions and problems about information management in a world of information saturation before there were technologies that could really do the processing and management that Wiener and his colleagues figured out uh, during the World War II years. So it's kind of a cultural prehistory to the world of cybernetics that we think of right now um, as starting with World War II. There was stuff going on earlier and that's what my work looks at. Hi, I'm Andy Kitchen. I'm from Melbourne. I'm currently a consultant and researcher in machine learning and artificial intelligence. And uh, what drew me to this conference is the, uh, the idea, the challenge, the beautiful idea of building machines that can think. And uh, I hope everyone had a great time. So, hello, I'm Sheree Dawn, and I am the Corporate Development Manager for the Melbourne School of Engineering at the University of Melbourne. And I'm not directly connected with engineering or with Wiener in any particular way, kind of by osmosis through a number of academics that I get to work with. But it's a great privilege for me to work with these engineers who are working on massive game-changing projects that are really revolutionizing the way that we look at the world and how we interact with the world. And I think that Wiener was, was one of the forefathers uh, of that, and uh, I'm really proud to be here and proud to be a part of this incredible group of individuals. I have Andy from Deakin University. My uh, link with Norbert Wiener is development of very exciting uh, filters. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sophia Tumuru, and I work with Tata Consultancy Services. Uh, my connection to Norbert Wiener and cybernetics goes way back on the student kids. I've been associated with a group. Uh, Systems Engineering and Cybernetics. We've been working in this area for the last almost uh, three decades. And the people associated and who are instrumental for starting this uh, our previous director is Sukoli, who is the PN uh, Professor Nori, and uh, MDPL Narayan, who currently takes care of the group. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rima Skevis. I work for myself here in Melbourne. I attended the, uh, the Wiener Conference to uh, talk about 
uh, WENA's concepts in governance and how they relate to governance and management of IT. My name is Norman Dingwood and I am a curiosity. I'm the man out of the street. I'm the general public. I came out of curiosity. I'm part, I, I get emails from your society and I found the conference details interesting and I've come to listen and learn and I've found a lot of interesting things. Hi, I'm Guy Galash. I work for Defence Science and Technology Group. Uh, I'm here because we're looking at implications of autonomy for things like logistics. Uh, and I'm basically here as a sponge to learn as much as I can. Hi, I'm Paul Seamus. And my connection with Norbert Wiener is I'm very interested in the convergence between things and people. Our things and people become more and more similar. And I think that Wiener was one of the first people to really reflect on that, that trend uh, 70 or 80 years ago. Hi, my name is Katina Michael and I've come to the Norbert Wiener Conference because I'm really interested in interdisciplinarity. That's when technologists and engineers and scientists start to speak to members uh, from the humanities and beyond, philosophy, anthropology, sociology, um, and it's been great to see such a mix of disciplines uh, presented at this conference.